Hey, what's up guys, Rudlinell here, coming back at you with another Python tutorial, and we're still looking at Colorama. But one of the coolest things of Colorama's features is going to be unleashed and revealed in this video today. So, uh, I'm pretty stoked about it. To me, this is kind of one of the coolest things that Colorama can do. Um, it's typically just manipulating the whole ANSI characters and the escape sequences that you can pass to your terminal, or like your shell, or your, uh, your console, whatever you'd like to call it. But it, what it will do is it will move the cursor, so you'll be able to determine where your centered output actually appears on the screen. Like, you could have it display in the upper, in the upper left-hand corner, or the upper right-hand corner, or maybe down low, or maybe in the center of the screen. It's, it's what Whatever you want it to be, and that's kind of cool because it's in Python, it's fast, it's uh, it's fun, and it's easy. So uh, we're going to be taking a look at that in Colorama once more today. I'm going to go ahead and create a new script so we can get started, and uh, I'll bring this right over so we can see it. And I think I will call mine maybe um, draw .python. I have no idea why I'm calling it that. It, it was the first thing that came to my mind. So I'm going to use my shebang line as usual, and uh, we're obviously going to need Colorama. And now I'm going to create my main function, first of all. And I think I'm just going to go ahead and print out something in red, so I'll use the red color as usual. And that's all I'm going to start with. And I'll go ahead and test if everything is okay to run. And if it is, we will go ahead and run it, so we'll run our main function. Okay, so in this video though, we're going to be creating a new function, so that'll uh, it'll give us a little bit more accessibility and creation sort of thing. It's a lot. It just makes things easier for us if we were doing if you we were going to be moving the cursor a whole lot. We're going to create a function that will uh, essentially move the cursor for us, just like Colorama would with anything else by string concatenation while we're using a print function that sort of thing. But anyway, let's let's stop talking and go ahead and define this function. So def and uh, I'm going to call mine pos, or P-O-S, and it's essentially position, but it's it's a lot quicker. And um, now you can pass in your arguments in any way. Um, typically you're going to be passing in, obviously, X and Y coordinates, so your console or your program at least knows where to output these characters, the things that you're actually displaying in standard output, out on the terminal. It needs to know where you want it to go. But when you're working inside the shell or the terminal, in the ye olden days when they were working with n curses and all these programs that were actually manipulating the text in the terminal it actually worked with the y coordinate coming first before x now today if you're thinking of like math and like a coordinate grid or a coordinate plane whatever it is you'll typically have the ordered pair with the um, setup of x and y but we use it in N curses, or at least when we're working in the shell, as Y and X, but with this function, you can, of course, put it in any order that you'd like, because this is how you're going to be passing in the arguments. So, just to keep things easy, I'm going to just pass them in as X and Y, and uh, we got the body of our function all set, and we're actually going to be creating a really, really simple function. All it does is it's going to return a string for us, but I'm sure you guys can guess that the string that we're returning is actually going to contain that ANSI character sequence that allows us to manipulate the, um, the cursor inside the shell. So anyway, we're going to have to build this sequence, though, by ourselves. And uh, bear with me, though. Uh, I've got it all typed out here, so we can just go ahead and copy it down. But it is a little weird. I mean, it's it doesn't it's not English, obviously. So you're often I'm sorry. You're first of all gonna want to type in backslash x one b, and then opening bracket opening brace. Sorry, and that's typically like the sequence for the escape key. And uh, what we're gonna do then is go ahead and concatenate on the string variable at least the string formation of our variable y. Then we're going to do another concatenation again, and then we're going to put a semicolon there inside that string, and after that we can go ahead and concatenate once more the string of x. So you can see that y is coming before x in this case, and this is actually generating the ANSI code for us. So then what we'll do is go ahead and put in a final string with more concatenation, and I actually just want an uppercase h. So uh, then you should be good to go. This is all that it takes here. Okay, so now we've got four red, and that works well for us, and now we can actually, inside of our main function, we can go ahead and print something out in a specific position. And what I will do is I'll print mine out, let's say, at the 30th position in X, 
and the tenth position in Y. So it's a little bit, it's pretty far to the right, and it's a little bit down in the uh, center of the screen as well, vertically anyway. And then what we can do is we can concatenate on the string that we want to text. So like, this string is in a different place, like than usual. And I don't want that to just immediately go away, so I'm gonna have a raw input right up there. Okay, now we should be good to go. I'm gonna go ahead and open up a new terminal. If I bring this right over, I called it, what did I call it? I think draw, so Python draw. What will happen is it says this string is in a different place, and you can see that it's in the center of, uh, of, our, of our console here. It's in the center of the terminal. It's not um, from the current position at the beginning of the line like we would expect it to be. We've been able to manipulate the cursor. We moved it in a certain position. And uh, once you hit enter, your raw input will end, and then the end of the program is reached. But this is really kind of cool, don't you think? I mean, we have the ability to loop with this. We can go ahead and uh, maybe draw borders for our window or anything like that. We can go ahead and add as many uh, characters or strings as we want in any different position, all with a loop or with, all within typing manually. This opens up a whole lot of new interesting doors for us, and we can use it with color and everything. Now, the reason I showed you this inside Colorama, I'm sure you guys have probably already figured out if you're real well acquainted with like Unix and that sort of thing. You guys could just go ahead and type in this escape sequence in a typical like Linux terminal or anything, but under Windows you will need to use uh, Colorama, and you're going to actually want to use the initialize function, which I kind of forgot to do. So it's a good idea to go ahead and type that out to begin with. And I remember I kind of stressed that before in an earlier video, and I actually forgot about it myself. It's pretty embarrassing, though. <laughs> but anyway, uh, this is how you should do it. Use Colorama, especially use the in initialize function, because if you're working in Windows or your code is running on Windows, it's the only way it'll work. So, other without, without getting, like, this awkward, massive text of uh, an ANSI sequence. But anyway, there it is, guys. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this. Thank you so much for watching. Honestly, I think this is one of the coolest things that Colorama can do, but you kind of have to be able to manipulate this ANSI sequence and uh, know how to use your own self-written position function. Okay, <laughs> I think I'm all done here, though. Thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you guys later.